Hey guys, it's Adrian from BHA here bringing you another video. So this one today is going to be on Fully Kiosk Browser. Now we're not going to go through the full setup. We've done that in the past. I'll have the link up in the top corner so you can check that video out that does the full kind of walkthrough on how to set all that up. But we're going to look at a custom component in the Home Assistant Community Store uh, that will basically bring all of the features of Fully Kiosk Browser into Home Assistant so that we can take advantage of all those various sensors and, and data. So let's dive right in. All right, so as I said, this is a custom component. It's not fully integrated into Home Assistant yet. They do have a custom component. It's in the uh, Home Assistant Community Store. So we're gonna walk through that whole setup and, and see how we can get that integrated into uh, Home Assistant. All right, so let's do a quick run through of what we're gonna cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we'll go over some prerequisites. There's not a lot there. Uh, but there's just a few things that uh, we at least want to mention. Uh, once that's done, we will install the custom component uh, for Fully Kiosk from uh, the Home Assistant Community Store. And I'll kind of walk through that setup. And then lastly, I'll just kind of go over my thoughts on this whole uh, install. So let's get started. So obviously uh, you will need to have fully kiosk installed on your tablet. Again, I'll have a link in the top corner with a walkthrough that I did on, uh, on that, which should get you up and running uh, and uh, configured fully kiosk. Uh, something else you'll probably want is a license. Uh, so you can use fully kiosk for free, but you don't get all the features. And I'm not even sure if you have access to the REST API if you're not using a license. Uh, so you'll want to probably buy an individual license, or if you're going to have a lot of touch screens in your house, or be using fully kiosk on a lot of different devices, uh, then you may want to consider their volume license, uh, which I think handles like 10, 10 devices at once or something like that. The other part of the prerequisites is just that if you did have fully set up already and you were using it in Home Assistant uh, with the REST API, then we'll probably want to go through and uh, comment out those sensors or delete those uh, existing sensors in our YAML code uh, that we had set up because we don't want double uh sensors set up once we add this new integration so that's kind of what i'm doing here i'm just going to go into my sensors.yaml file i'm commenting out um, the existing setup i had kind of for fully kiosk uh, that way whenever i add the new integration and everything it uh, will be a nice clean install uh, of course once we comment those out we'll have to jump over to uh, server controls here we're going to reboot home assistant uh, to pick up the uh, newly removed devices. Um, but uh, while that's rebooting, we'll uh, move on to the next step and get this thing installed. For starters, we need to head over to the Home Assistant Community Store, if you're not already there. And we're going to click on that plus in the bottom corner. From there, we should be able to search for fully uh, kiosk, and it should come right up in the list. And there it is. Uh, let's click on that, and of course, hit install repo. And lastly, uh, we're just going to click on install. And it'll take it a few minutes, but uh, it should install pretty quickly. And at that point, we're just going to go back over to server controls again. And we're going to, of course, reboot Home Assistant to pick up the newly installed custom component. It'll take a few minutes for that to come back up, but we'll kind of fast forward through that and skip on ahead. Uh, once it's back online, we will go to our integration section, because uh, now we should be able to hit that plus in the bottom corner and search for Fully Kiosk. And just like it did in the Home Assistant Community Store, it should show up in the list. And by adding that, of course, it's gonna ask for the IP address, uh, our port, and remote admin password. So for the IP address, this is the IP address of the tablet itself. 
Uh, something to note, uh, if you don't already, you probably want to make sure that your tablet has a static uh, IP address just so that it's not changing IPs on you because obviously the integration uh, will not work if for some odd reason that tablet pulls a different IP address. Uh, by default, the port for Fully Kiosk Browser is 2323. So unless you change that uh, in the settings, that should be the port that we're gonna list here. And then a remote admin password. Um, in Fully Kiosk Browser on the tablet, if you go into settings, you'll need to uh, add a password in there uh, to be able to remotely access it. And again, I have the link up in the top that kind of runs through that whole install. So if you haven't done that yet, you can click on that link and it'll kind of show you how all that is set up. Once we have all that in there, then we can go ahead and submit. And of course it should add right in there. Uh, so if you click on the integration and then uh, go ahead and click on the fully kiosk device there, um, you'll see tons of sensors and entities that are automatically created. This installation is so much easier than trying to add all those sensors manually with the REST API. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step and just kind of give you my final thoughts. As I already said, I am really digging this install and the fact that it just automatically adds all of these sensors and switches. I really hope this becomes a full production integration at some point uh, in Home Assistant. But as you can see, there are sensors for battery power. Uh, you can see what the current URL is that is being shown in the browser uh, on Fully Kiosk. Uh, you also have the ability to switch the screen on and off right there from Home Assistant. So there's so many different options uh, and automations that I see that you can set up uh, within Home Assistant to control this and manipulate this fully kiosk browser. It is super cool. So if you haven't had a chance yet, definitely worth checking out fully kiosk browser. If you're setting up tablets uh, for touch screens and touch panels around your house, it is a really cool option and way to make old Android tablets and stuff like that work well for this type of uh, device. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're interested in a VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I'll have a link in the description below. You can jump over to their website and see what deals they currently have running. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description for that one as well. And if you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.